Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. This is our evening time, a drive time update, guys. And we got uh, the beach and the mountains behind me, and the sun is about to go down, guys and gals. So let's get it. Let's jump into it without any further delay. Yay, yay, yay. So, right now, if you take a look at the heat map, wow, the heat map, it looks like everything is going down, diddy, diddy, down again. And uh, that's not a good sign, uh, but you know, don't forget, we got the Jeremy Powell is going to, Jeremy Powell in the house, he's going to testify today. So, we got that big announcement that is coming out uh, around about uh, 9 30 a.m so that's going to be huge also we're going to talk about uh, the miners guys oh no this is really bad guys uh we're going to talk about what's going on with the miners that could affect the bitcoin price guys and gals and also too right now we're also seeing that the uh, the pre-markets the pre-markets are looking pretty pitiful in the house we're seeing uh, a time of recording a time of recording we're seeing that the dow is down the uh, s p is down and the nasdaq uh, futures are down and also, we're seeing right now that the Asian markets are also tanking, tank, tank today. We saw the European markets are tanking right now as we are uh, recording this video. So it looks like uh, we could be seeing uh, some more of a big sell-off, some more uh, negativity out there for the crypto markets. Definitely, the stocks are getting hammered right now. Hammer time! Hammer time! Hammer time! Hammer time! So the stocks are definitely getting hammered out there from that perspective. And we did see the fear and greed index did raise to 11, but if we're if the uh, stocks and everything get hammered that's going to push cryptos down dd dd down down and we're going to see uh more of uh this going down uh, going up depends on your perspective right it's going it's going it's increasing in terms of extreme fear uh but in terms of the other direction it's going down right so remember this is absolutely a contrary indicator i keep telling you guys that over and over again please understand that guys and remember when there's blood in the street this is a huge time to be buying oh no this is bad guys we're going to talk about that and uh, much much more in house guys so right now we're seeing that uh you know as a prelude for oh no this is bad we're seeing that uh, the daily on change flow on chain on the daily on chain exchange flow i can't even speak english what's going on with me we're seeing that the total amount of bitcoin that has gone uh flown onto exchanges is positive right now so that is not good that means that sellers are basically pushing their bitcoin onto exchange and selling we're seeing the opposite for ethereum now Wow, Crypto's, the crypto is like wackadoodle right now. It's like wackadoodle out there. And right now we're seeing more Ethereum taking off exchanges. So I guess people have been buying the dips, buying the low, de do, 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 been buying the low. And we're seeing that Ethereum is still being pushed onto exchanges. So people are buying something. But we're seeing a lot of, uh, we're seeing absolutely a lot of, uh, of Bitcoin uh, being sold right now. So that is not uh, good in house. So this is kind of like bad news, guys. Bad news bears. So you guys have to buckle up and be prepared for this. Looks like miners have sold their entire May harvest, guys. So that is not that is not good, guys, because uh, right now the cost of um, uh, mining one Bitcoin is getting pretty close to the capitulation line uh, out there. So we're seeing right now that the miner capitulation line is right about here. So we're seeing that, the, you know, right now the miners are actually starting to turn off their machines and uh, it's starting to cost them more to keep those machines on. So that is not that is not good at all, guys. So the cryptocurrency market has entered a sell-off. We all know about the sell-off. A lot of you are feeling it. A lot of you are reeling from it, and that's not a pretty good. Some new data from Archive Research shows that public mining company firms sold 100, I repeat, 100% of their BTC production may compared to their usual 20 to 40%. So typically, you know, every month they sell anywhere from 20 to 4% of their BTC production, and that's to cover running costs and this and that. But in May, they actually sold 100% just to cover costs. So that is not good. That is absolutely not good out there. So we're seeing that, uh, you know, right now, uh, related Bitcoin price drops five days, uh, you know, you know, like, Come on, guys. Uh, Bitcoin is still dropping, and the condition is only worse. Uh, is only going to get worse in June with Bitcoin price falling to 2017 uh, all-time high of twenty thousand dollars, and uh, you know it recovered to a four-year low of seventeen to seven seventeen thousand seven eighty-three. So, in case you guys weren't, weren't watching, that was actually a four-year low out there. Miners to exchange flow and data metrics shows that the volume of Bitcoin sent by miners onto exchange has reached an all-time high in June, reaching levels not seen since January 2020. Wow. So you can see here that miners are now selling a lot of their Bitcoin right now, and that is not good. That is not good. If this continues, this is going to have a, a terrible, terrible effect on uh, Bitcoin, and that's going to cause the price to dump like crazy, guys. It's going to dump pretty dump out there. So get ready. Bitcoin hash price, hash price mining metric that represents a minor revenue. Uh, 
on per terahash basis is the average of value in fiat currency of the daily rewards a miner gets per each terahash calculation, which has fallen to an all time 1.5 year low guys so the amount of you know the amount uh, you know the amount of rewards the daily rewards that they're getting right now has gone down guys it's gone down and they're way 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 below uh, what the price of bitcoin is so that means that miners are going to be dumping guys miners are absolutely going to be dumping and you know that means that btc miners are capitulating the distress signal occurred nine days ago possibly indicating the price bottom is near when miners give up it's possibly the most powerful buy signal ever guys so you know oh no this is really bad uh and you know from the perspective that you know bitcoin price could be going down we could be seeing more and more pressure on the bitcoin price and uh, that is not going to be good out there you know we could see a double bottom we could see seventeen thousand five hundred dollars incoming again uh but you know this is also a good the positive side of this this is also an indicative indicated measure out that the bitcoin bottom is in guys so that is good from that perspective guys but be careful be wary that we could be seeing some more negative uh, prices and more negative uh, downward spirals for Bitcoin. And a lot of people are anticipating that we could be getting a double bottom for Bitcoin and we could be seeing ourselves going to down back down to 17,500. So uh, tomorrow's my DCA day, my DCA day. So if it does go down that level, I'm gonna be happy because I'm gonna be picking up one Bitcoin. It doesn't matter what the price is because when you dollar cost average, the way you do that is you set a date and you, do you buy every week i buy more crypto guys because time in the bottoms and time in the tops is almost impossible and make sure that you guys pay yourselves uh you know when you're at 200 percent profit you make sure you take your profits guys it's so important a lot of you don't do that so you know even though the uh, crypto is down right now uh my portfolio is still looking a lot better than where it was in 2021 at the beginning of the year because i dollar cost average and i took profits and i paid myself so it's so important that you guys pay yourself so right now on the four hours seeing that the bitcoin is up in positive territory right now bitcoin is now uh trading at uh, 20,388 uh we're seeing that bitcoin right now on the daily uh is negative right now and we are down around about 1.55 uh, percent but if we take a look at the heat heat map which is calculated on a different time frame uh we're seeing that bitcoin is down 3.46 percent so that is not good from that perspective if we take a look at uh, bitcoin on the weekly right now it's just just slightly just slightly above the minor capitulation line it's almost at minor capitulation line and we're still well below the 200 200 week moving average so we can see here that the minor capitulation line i drew it in is about 21,300. so that is you know 21,300, 21,500 in that range is a minor capitulation line and that is that is not good uh if you know if we see more and more miners selling their bitcoin we could have uh some uh, downward pressure a downward spiral and we could see a, a bit of a crash happening this week it all depends on what jeremy powell is going to say is he going to say something dumb is he going to be hawkish he's going to be bullish i think he's just going to be kind of neutral and he's going to re iterate his position and stance on the 75 basis points for July. Now, looking at the Doge right now, Dogecoin is doing okay from that perspective. It's still above six cents, so that is pretty good. And we're seeing that the Dogecoin right now is uh, forming uh, upper trend line. So if we go from here and we draw up, it, uh, Dogecoin is kind of form, forming a bit of an upper trend line right now. So that is pretty good from that perspective. And hopefully this trend line will hold and we'll be going up, up, up out there. Uh, if you take a look at the Shibi Weeby right now, Shibi Weeby right now let me just blow that up make it so you can see it so shiba eb right now is uh, down and we did uh, we, we do have this huge descending triangle that goes back uh, to october 2021 and we had this support line and we bounced off and it looks like shiba eb is trying to make uh, an impulse to the upside right now it did have a bit of an impulse and it's kind of it, it could be going in this direction let's hope that holds but it all depends on bitcoin if bitcoin it becomes very bearish and the price goes down we're going to see shiba inu probably go back down to this level and that's about a zero seven six so right now shiba inu is just below 10 in the house guys so let's see how that let's see how that goes on and we're seeing that the volumes are pretty much uh low right now so i just thought i'd bring this to you this kind of like having is having has no impact on btc price supply and demand 101 having equals less bitcoin uh, issued to miners uh having reduces selling pressure from miners and having increases demand based on increased scarcity you know uh basically are you smarter than satoshi no you're not so a lot of people believe that you know because of the mining uh that uh, that is uh, what dictates the you know the bull and bear cycles 
and I would I would postulate that you know these four year four year cycles are now invalidated, and I believe that we could be seeing a bull run coming pretty soon, guys. So it looks like Bank of Israel also experiments with central bank digital currency and smart contracts and privacy, and that's looking pretty good. They actually did uh, they did actually buy a car using. Uh, this uh, CBDC as a test and it looks pretty good guys so it looks like it's working so we could see Israel rolling out a CBDC pretty soon it looks like crypto lender Celsius receives another bailout we did have BNK future offer a bailout but it looks like we have another uh, lender that's coming out this offer comes from uh, lender change in house uh, and they look like they, they are going to be offering Celsius some bailout and some funds to kind of shore up the liquidity out there but we haven't had any confirmation if uh, Celsius is going to accept that or not and you know if the celsius people are listening uh guys and gals you know the community we just we, we want something we we've got nothing from you guys so guys share some latest update tell us what's going on because a lot of you have your crypto uh, held hostage out there so it looks like repeating loops with similar price and rsi structure next loop incoming so you can see here that 2013 and 2019 to 2019 to 21 we're seeing a very similar structure we're seeing uh you know a, a top structure a bottom structure and you know if this if this continues we could be seeing a a top structure coming in soon and uh, we could be seeing a bit of a bounce to the upside so that is pretty cool beans in the house guys so i'm i'm pretty 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 pumped that you know sure we could go down on 17.5 but we could get a reversal coming in beginning the new cycle is indicated by the low rsi the s p 500 great opportunity so we're seeing that the rsi uh, for the s p 500 is very low right now and every time we have this low s p 500 we often uh you know indicates the bottom of the cycle and then that we often go up and have a cycle top we saw it here bottom the rsi is low for s p 500 market bear and then we have a cycle top so looks like we're at the market bear low rsi and, and the s p 500 so this is indicating that we are probably at the bottom and we're going to have a reversal to the upside so it looks like this from ta analyst he's saying that the bull run will begin within seven to 84 days guys so i really hope it's within seven days guys but 84 days is not too bad right 84 days that's about three months from now so you know from this perspective uh we are seeing that we could be starting the new bull run because i believe that the bottom is in and if the bottom is not in we're darn tooting close to it guys so if you got some moxie if you've got the stones out there hold hold like a madman don't panic don't capitulate even if we go down to 17 even if we go down to 15 don't lose your moxie and don't blow your load and run for the hills crying to your mommy uh, because you know bitcoin will recover it always does recover and we're going to see the doge wars are going uppity up up guys like crazy don't you worry don't you panic guys mega pump in 250 days so this is from ta alice and he's saying that right now we've got these uh, critical lines that are crossing right now and we can see that here we, ha we had a cross mega pump across here mega pump and we're about to have uh, a cross here so you know this is this is kind of weird and wacky right now that we're going to see the these two lines cross and every time this happened we have a mega pump so he's predicting anywhere from uh, 7 to 250 days we should start to see a mega pump and this mega pump is putting us at $200,000 in 250 days mega pump 250 days two hundred thousand dollars so i'm willing to wait are you willing to wait guys that's not even one year guys that's not even one year so get it get it get it while you can guys if you're loving this content don't forget to go and smash the likes boot the likes and show some love guys and go down there and follow me on twitter guys so let's take a look at let's take a look at uh, what's going on uh, on the uh, bitcoin uh, dominance right bitcoin dominance right now is at 44.20 it's gone up a little bit so that's not so good guys we're seeing the dxy is also going up omg we need the dxy to go up and up up we're seeing if we take a look at the leverage apers right now the leverage ape the apersoids in the house so we're seeing right now about 175 million apes are getting wrecked 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 that's about 70 1,000, 76,000 traders. We are seeing that on the one hour time frame, we're seeing a lot of uh, shorts building up. So that's good. That's good. Hopefully, we'll see a bit of a reversal coming in for the itty bitty baby. So let's see what's happening with Ethereum right now. Uh, not too much basically it's at uh, one thousand and eighty nine dollars so uh you know we could be dropping below a thousand dollars again so that is not good that's absolutely not good in the house and uh, let's take a look at beloved 88 at 47 cents so from that perspective let's take a look at the total market cap cap it's down right now it's at 910 billion the volume is light guys it's absolutely like you we're gonna see light volumes until after powell 
does give his testimony and tell us what the heck is going on with the markets. We're seeing Bitcoin dollars is also going down. If we take a look at the carnage right now, and you know, we can see things and projects are starting to all flip right now. So it's blood in the streets and lots of carnage out there. We're seeing Bitcoin is down 3%, and that's not so good. We're seeing um, uh, Ethereum is also down 5.5%. Wow. And we're seeing BNB is down 3%. We're seeing ADA is down 4.5%. The Solana is getting hammered out there, and it's down 6.27%. We see Doge Your Wars are down 1.62% at 62. We're seeing Dottie. Well, what's up is also down as well. So it looks like we're bleeding out again. So, you know, things are not looking good, but on the weekly right now, we're seeing more green on the weekly than red. So it looks like on the weekly time frame, crypto is still looking pretty good. But uh, it looks like, uh, you know, we're getting a little bit of a downward sell pressure. And a lot of it has to do with people are waiting for what is happening uh, with Jeremy Powell. We're seeing that the Asian markets, the European markets are all down and flat. And the pre-markets, the Dow futures and NASDAQ futures and S&P futures are not looking good right now, guys. So from that perspective, guys, don't forget to go and, uh, you know, check out the merch gear up with the og gear get it get it while you can don't forget to go down there check the linky links become a patreon member buy the channel coffee check the nfts guys show some love with super chats i would appreciate it and if you're watching for the first time don't forget to chef squibby why be in the house you want it i want it let's get it right now whoo peace out guys peace out peace out